A very good day to everyone. My name is Arani from Batch 23. I hope y'all are doing fine in this pandemic. I'm going to present a short and concise video on the examination of head and neck limb nodes. Hope you guys have fun watching it. What is head and neck limb node examination? Some of y'all will be confused and think it would be hard. No, I got y'all. Let's move forward to the next slide. During inspection of head and neck, the main things to look out for is any presence of enlarged lumps or whether the surface of skin is erythematous. Additional information. When limb adenopathy is localized, the clinician should examine the region drained by the nodes for evidence of infections, lesions or tumors. Other nodal sites should also be carefully examined to exclude the possibility of generalized limb adenopathy. The following step is palpation. The nodes are palpated for consistency, size, number and fixity to the surrounding tissues. Firstly, we will look into the size of an enlarged limb node which can be a size of a pea or the size of a jelly bean, roughly 1 to 2 cm in size. Next, we will check for the number of limb nodes involved which can either be single or multiple groups. The following would be consistency of enlarged limb nodes which can be either soft to firm depending on the duration of lesion. Lastly, to confirm for fixity to the surrounding tissues, the limb nodes should be carefully palpated to know if they are mobile or fixed to the underlying tissue. Now, we will move further into the methods of palpation. The first node we are going to palpate is submental limb node, which are palpated under the chin. The next would be submandibular limb node, which are palpated at the lower border of mandible, approximately at the angle of mandible. There is a short video showing on how to palpate the submandibular limb node. Now, we will be looking into preauricular limb node. They are palpated anterior to the tragus of ear. The following would be posterior auricular limb node. They are palpated behind the ear on the mastoid process. The next palpation we will look into is buccal limb node. This is parotid limb node. They are palpated behind the masseter muscle and in front of the ear. The next is cervical limb node. Ask the patient to tilt the head to the left and when the sternocleidomastoid muscle is prominent and that's when you palpate anterior and posteriorly to the sternocleidomastoid muscle. There will be a short video showing on how to palpate it. The following is supraclavicular limb node. It is located above the clavicle in the supraclavicular fossa. The last limb node to be palpated is occipital limb node. These are palpated at the base or lower border of skull. Yeah, this is the end of my video. 
I hope you all had a great time watching it. Before I end my video, I would like to give some credits. Firstly, I would like to thank Dr. Lahari for helping me throughout the video and presentation. And next, I would also like to thank my batchmates, Kamitra Jasmine and Prasanasri for helping me to be the model. And thank you for watching and see you all in the next video.